We want to give you a feeling of familiarity before we open up your mind with a bigger okay. adventure. Hey, hey, I'm Dr. Nashley Cephas, and I'm a principal AI scientist at Amazon Web Services. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada at Meow Wolf Omega Mart. We're going to show Drew how to use some generative AI and check out the art exhibit. So come on. Meow Wolf is an arts company. Every community we go into, we want to collaborate with the artists in that community. We're creating these huge worlds that you can discover. You okay. want to check one out? Let's do it. Well, what did I just do? As far as your role, what hats do you wear? My team works on marketing, sales, and communications. It's really important that our strategy align with guest expectations and hopefully motivate more people to come check us out. If you had a couple of extra hands, what would you have them do? Two things come to mind. One is going through the customer feedback. We get thousands of responses. That's a pretty manual process. Another thing is we have so much crazy merchandise. So are there ways to connect parts of the experience that people enjoy with certain products? Well, I think I can help offload a lot of the redundant tasks. That would be amazing. You're seen behind the scenes in a way that nobody has before. I feel honored. Party Rock is AWS version of a Journey of AI tool. So you can hit this button that says Generate App, and it says, for well, what do you want to build? Something that would help me analyze the feedback from our guests. So describe what you would like your app to do. We're going to upload your document. Overall experience was very positive, with many rating it 10 out of 10 and describing it as fun, unique, creative, and immersive. You know, some of those words we use, but like fun, we don't necessarily lean into fun, but if that's something that's coming up in a lot of the comments, then we might want to use some of those terms that people are already connecting with. I could definitely see this cutting down on time that I would spend manually going through this, which would instead allow me to come up with some actions based on the results. So are you ready to build your first app? For sure. I would imagine it's something that I could put in front of a customer and it just prompts and says, what was your favorite part of Meow Wolf? And then if it says the desert or the meat counter, then it'll prompt, oh, well, then you might like this product. You can upload the merchandise list. Mm -hmm. And so now, as if you were a customer, enter in your favorite areas. So it gives me five recommendations right out of the bat. It's saying the tattooed chicken plush, the stomach fanny pack, a ham backpack, or a meat question patch. So it probably has some previous knowledge of Meow Wolf. I love that I don't have to have any coding knowledge to create an app that can make my work life a little bit easier. And it's already inspiring me. Maybe I want to say something more whimsical, like what do you think your spirit animal is? And then have it recommend merch from that list. We can modify how the app was automated and also add another input like spirit animal. What is your spirit animal? It would have to be an otter. So it gave us the daikon posable plushie, tomato snail, the blitz spray, the stomach fanny pack, the Greebles keychain. All right, there you have it. You just built your first app. We're going to leave you to experiment with Party Rock. Okay. And we'll come back and see what you discovered. So here we are to check out what you've been doing. I wanted to try something that felt a little more subverted. I said, what's a breakfast flavor that you might want? So in this case, I threw out sushi. And here it popped up right away, a merchandise recommendation of our stomach fanny pack. What did it say? It says that while sushi may seem unrelated, there's an interesting connection because sushi is a food that's often associated with careful presentation and compartmentalization. You got it. Similarly, a stomach fanny pack offers a unique way to organize and carry your belongings. So it's connecting these two items in a fun way. You clearly have learned a lot about the tool. It took some kind of clicking around, but it's almost like it's designed for simplicity right out of the gate. Now that you know the inner workings of it, it's your world. I am so excited to go play and, and see what I can discover. Three things I want you to take away. Number one, just start. A lot of people are intimidated by the technology, but you really just gotta get started. Number two, AI is not perfect, so you should always keep a human in the loop. And number three, remember to experiment with the inputs and the parameters of the models to get the output that you want.